Writers, today we're going to look back at a story that we've already written. You're going to have the chance to look back at one of your stories today. So today you are not writing a new story. Today you're going to look back at one of your old stories. And I want you to think about this. As writers, we use checklists to make sure we have all of the parts that we need. When we're writing a small moment, one of the things that we need to do is use the word I. We use the word I in our small moment because the story's about us. I did, I saw, I was, I went. Small moments are always about something that happened. So we use the word I in our small moment story. So the first thing that we're going to look for is the word I. We're going to take a look at Miss Hume's small moment story first. After you watch the video, you're going to take a look at your small moment story. Does Mrs. Hume use the word I in her small moment? One morning, I was getting ready for school. I was in the bathroom brushing my hair. Then Shelby came running. So I see the word I in my small moment story. So check, I had the word I. You're gonna check to see that you have the word I in your sentence. The next thing on our checklist that we want to look for today is that we are writing and telling what happened. Do you, did Mrs. Hume write about what happened in her story? First, I was in the bathroom. Then Shelby came running in. She held up her dollar. Dad asked where the dollar came from. And then she put the dollar in her purse. So I have events that happened in my story. So check. I told what happened in my story. So make sure you have, you use the word I, and then make sure that you tell what happened. The last thing on our checklist for today is to make sure that the, we tell the story in order. We don't want to tell what happened last at the beginning or the beginning at the end. We want to make sure that our events happen in order and we tell them in order. That makes sense. So the first thing that was happening in my story is that I was getting ready in the bathroom. Then Shelby came running in. Then she put her dollar away. And those are the events that happen in order. So I want to make sure that I have order for my events and that I write them in the order that they happened. Today, it's your turn to check your work. I want you to check your work and make sure that you use the word I in your small moment story. If not, go back and change it. Make some changes to your writing and add the word I in the parts where you were there. Then tell, make sure that you tell what happened and make sure that you tell the story in order. Today, you don't have new writing. Today, you're checking your old writing.